Jimmy, this is the Dot 2 from MA Lighting. Yes, it now, is. I was at the uh, Pro Light and Sound where this was launched and you could not get near this thing for four days because it was just so incredibly popular and with really, really good reason. Yeah, yeah, I think it's popular because mm. it's awesome. Yeah. Um, basically, look, this is an entirely new platform from MA. Mm. Uh, the general operation method, uh, the syntax of how you actually drive the console is the same as the MA2. Yeah. Um, but what they've done here is they've predefined a lot of the user interface so, you know, what the contents of these screens is all pre-configured. And what that means is that it's much easier to get this console up and running very quickly if you haven't previously used the MA platform. Yeah, and uh, also speaking as an audio guy, this is the most approachable lighting desk I've ever, I've ever come across. The times where I have had to do a bit of lighting, um, yeah, this, this just makes it really easy. Yep, yeah. I'll definitely pay mm -hmm. that. Now, there's a lot of capability. This is a, a, the XLF model, which has the extra bank of faders. Yep. There's an XLB version where this is executed by instead mm. and you can just get the core console as well which is this section mm. by itself now in addition to that other hardware options you can have fader wings and button wings you can have up to two of those on a core console and uh, a reduction of one relating to you know whether you've got the XLF or XLB mm. so essentially those will support three wings a piece. Yep. You can also have the Dot2 node, and there is an on-PC version of the software which you can download for free. Mm -hmm. um, the on-PC version and the node can be used as a tracking backup for a full-size console. But as I was saying, this is a complete self-contained thing. You don't need any external screens. You can plug an external screen in, mm -hmm. and there, there is some configurability to what you can put on that. And if you use an ELO screen, you can actually, it supports touchscreen functionality. Nice. Mm. Um, we've also got, uh, SEMTI and MIDI timecode in, we've got audio input, we've got DMX input, mm -hmm. uh, and of course we've got some USB ports on board. We've got four universes at DMX, plus we can support another four via either Artnet or uh, on a dot .2 node. Yeah. Okay, and that's a lot to remember. That is an awful lot, but and when you do network it all up, it's all running on IPv6. Yes, so it is. So it's all just really, really easy. So you don't need mm. to even set an IP address on the thing. And, mm. and indeed, I was playing with the visualizer and that's yesterday, awesome. yeah. which is also yeah. awesome and mm. included for free. And I got it running. Yeah, you know, and and when you <laughs> patch your fixtures in this, they automatically populate mm. into the visualizer. It's so simple. Mm. Um, there's an external fixture editor that you can run on Mac or PC as well. So if you need to generate a new fixture file, that's a that's a mm. doable thing too. Um, the plan also, as far as integration with other things, is that uh, MA is going to make files that are generated within the dot two migratable into the full MA two yeah, platform that's a, that's as well. That's a fantastic thing to, to do. I mean, that that just kind of lighting people are going to start off on one of these and then end up on the big ones, and that's just a really great workflow. Yeah, and look, mm. I mean, as you say, for people starting off on this, and especially those who haven't used the platform before, mm. um, another function that's really good is that they basically integrated the entire user manual into this help button. So mm. you press help, then you press the function you want to know about, and then you press please, and it gives you the help menu on screen. Mm. Uh, you can scroll through that. Uh, it's kind of like driving a web page, but the cool thing is that when you update the software in the console, the help file updates yeah. too. That's great, that's great. Look, I think these are going to be everywhere. I think they're going to be in the small venues, they're going to be in the churches, they're going to be in, and on small projects and even just things with smaller budget. But yeah, these are really going to do well for them. Yeah, look, they say this is sort of geared up for small to mid-sized venues and shows, and I think it's definitely the case. Um, there's a lot of capability here. And not only in operability, but, but price point-wise, this, this sort of brings MA mm. offering into a, a new level of accessibility yeah. for a whole lot of users. Absolutely. Well, look, thanks very much for watching the review. We hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give us a like and share it with your friends. We'll see you next time.